here today at Navy League Sea Air Space 2024 with Northrop Grumman's Frank DeMauro, Sector Vice President and General Manager of Weapon Systems, and Jeremy Nupp, Vice President of Digital Transformation. Thanks, gentlemen, for joining us today for this brief conversation on advanced manufacturing and digital modernization. So first question, Jeremy, is how is digital development improving collaboration between the Navy and Northrop Grumman? So we have built a digital ecosystem that pulls together our suppliers, our employees, and our, our customers into a single environment and a single digital thread. And th these are creating massive efficiencies across 140 programs and growing to include planning for sustainment up front. And to give a, a couple of good examples, here recently Nav Air has named the E2D Advanced uh, program as a top five acquisition program. Mm -hmm. And additionally on top of that, we've pulled together into a digital thread, the design, the development, supply chain, the manufacturing and the, and the uh, sustainment into a single digital thread across the entire life cycle of every aspect of a, of a program. Mm -hmm. And this has led to efficiencies. A good example would be the, the B21 uh, production program where we've already realized 15% labor efficiencies on that program. And because it's in a digital environment, we're able to lift those best practices and those techniques and technologies from one program to the next. So we're going to realize those efficiencies across multiple programs to include Navy and space programs, not, mm -hmm. just, not just the Air Force. Very good. How about you, Frank? Well, we, we're, we're taking what Jeremy's talking about and really partnering with our, our customers, particularly the Navy and NAVC. An example of that is they just invested $178 million in our capacity at our Allegheny Ballistic Laboratory facility in West Virginia, mm -hmm. where we're going to be putting in a state-of-the-art facility where we can uh, continue to advance our development and production of uh, solid rocket motors and fuses and warheads, and really start down that process of adding more to the defense industrial base and to be able to deliver more uh, hardware to the warfighter uh, mm -hmm. for the threats that continually are evolving. Right. Uh, similarly, on our own, uh, we've invested in the mission, mission integration facility uh, at ABL, where we're actually going to be using that to build out our Argam ER uh, product and deliver that to the Navy mm -hmm. as well. Separately, uh, Northrop Grumman, since the acquisition of Orbital ATK in 2018, has invested about a billion dollars in capacity. So, really trying to take what the, the digital engineering, digital manufacturing, really drive that production capability, drive down the speed at which we can deliver products to the warfighter, but also drive down the cost. Right. So as the threat's evolving and we need to get more product to the warfighter mm -hmm. uh, out in the field, having these factories partnering with the government is really going to add a lot of capability to not only ourselves, but to our partners as well. Very good. Um, next question, so Jeremy, so we've been talking about advanced manufacturing. What are some of the technologies we're seeing on the Northrop Grumman factory floors that are improving efficiency? We are uh, inserting advanced manufacturing technologies and techniques into our digital ecosystem. So that's mm -hmm. from the beginning upfront planning to the actual building of, of, the, uh, of the product. On the upfront part, we, uh, we're using ma manufacturing simulations, and this allows us, before a program's even awarded, to lay out the optimal production flow mm -hmm. and also help us identify choke points so that we can meet the capacities of our, of our customer. On the back end, we're using augmented reality to overlay the work constructions and the CAD models into the, uh, into the, the technician's field of view so that they can quickly and efficiently build and test our, our products. Uh, an example of where that's going well for us is in our Charlottesville uh, factory. We've implemented augmented reality and we've already re uh, realized a 35% labor efficiency. So it's a very quick uh, going up the learning curve. Oh, excellent, thank you. How about you, Frank? Well, similarly, taking again what Jeremy's talking about, uh, a couple of examples that I can share is we're in our Elkton, Maryland facility, we built our hypersonics capability center. Now that is going to really the first of its kind uh, facility focused on uh, air breathing engines, our ramjets and our scramjets, uh, being able to produce them at scale, at a faster rate and for lower cost. Mm -hmm. And so using the, the capabilities that Jeremy's talking about in terms of designing that factory, where are the choke points? How can we avoid those? Um, and then laying out the factory to be as efficient as possible. But also taking other things like digital engineering, man, man, marrying that up with digital manufacturing, 
uh, 3D printing of molds, right. for instance, of our, of our air breathing engine structures, is really a way that we can accelerate not only the development but the production of these really high technology uh, capable systems and eventually deliver them uh, to the warfighter mm -hmm. for the defense of our nation and our allies. Similarly, at our facilities out in Utah, uh, looking at how we can relay out those facilities uh, using advanced manufacturing techniques, advanced uh, facility layout techniques, and making sure that in the solid, large solid rocket motor arena, we can continue to deliver those products to our customers. Mm -hmm. So across the company, uh, taking what Jeremy's team is putting together, marrying that up with what our team can do with that, and then with our customers, making sure that we can invest in those facilities and then deliver products mm -hmm. less expensively, faster, and with higher reliability. Very good, thank you. So uh, last question, crystal ball time. So we were talking about advanced manufacturing, digital engineering, how will these things, or what role will these things play in future conflicts? What, what the Navy needs next? So we have the best employees in the industry, and, and when we marry their already existing commitment to the mission, commitment to the customer with their skills, abilities, and experience, with our journey to digital excellence, combining those together, we are well positioned to provide the capabilities and solutions that the, the customers need now and for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Very good, final thoughts? Yeah, you know, when it comes to thinking about the future, it not only is the digital technology, but it's also looking at how we can innovate, uh, how we can invest, and how we can bring the best of all of us, mm -hmm. our customers, our partners, and the rest of Northrop Grumman together to really deliver what we need to for the customer. Thinking about it in terms of the missions first, but also future first. How can we figure out how we can continue to deliver, increase the capability of our products, increase the speed at which we deliver them, increase the technical capabilities. Uh, it's really that, that type of, of partnership that type of combined thinking and thinking about how the future is going to look is really critical. So as the digital transformation continues to take hold and advance further, we can use that to be able to deliver for our customers and the warfighter. Excellent, thank you Frank, thank you Jeremy, appreciate thank your you. time, and thank you for watching. Bye.